sexual offenders be rehabilitated or do they belong in jail for the rest of their lives? That's part of the discussion that we're having today. Um, Jack, you defend many um, sex offenders and just you were saying you, they can be rehabilitated. That should be part of the process. I get problems with the word rehabilitated. I see sex offenders, at least pedophiles and people who fall into that category, as addicts. I mean, they're addicted to it and they're like in recovery permanently and you have to supervise them and stay on top of them. But at some point, I presume, just like alcoholics and drug addicts, that they can live in civilized society without being behind bars. At what point? I don't know, but I'm not the parole board, but I'm sure mm -hmm. the parole board figures that one out, as mm -hmm. opposed to the no, violent sure sex offender. Mm -hmm. Comment. Mm. Excuse me, before you said that um, rape shouldn't be as important as murder, yeah. when you murder somebody, they're dead. When you rape somebody, they have to live with this for the rest of their lives. That's I true. Should have, Do I you have to yeah. But I resent that there's even talk of a comparison. I mean, murder is murder and rape is rape. And if you're going to compare, I think what you need to say is then why aren't those that are in jail for bank robbery, for assault, um, for drugs, for drug usage, for drug sales, why aren't those people, why, why aren't sex offenders serving as long as those people? I think we should put murder aside. Okay, I, I have a problem with, with okay. comparing. Uh, Rolanda, can I, can I uh, add something here? But my, Michael, is, are you trying, Michael, you, uh, a convicted sex offender, pedophile, uh, you can give us some insight on this. What do you yeah, say on I, it? Yeah, I, I, I think there's a big distinction between um, uh, punishment, uh, and, and I don't disagree with uh, the, need, the need for punishment, but and, and I also don't disagree with the fact that victims, also being a victim myself, you know, live with the trauma of that for, a, for the rest of their lives. But there has to be something realistic in between. And, and I don't agree with Sherry. I, I mean, I, I appreciate everything she's been through, and I feel very sorry for the things that have happened to her. But, but uh, the, the, the fact is that uh, rehabilitation does work. Uh, and, and that there are And I want to say that I have a hard time, country. I have a hard time, no, I have a hard time that he is saying that he's a victim and using that as an excuse for his doing what he's doing. How dare you? How dare you? No, 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 you need to understand It's not an excuse. Like One at a time, please. It's not an excuse. Excuse Michael, me. Michael, we have someone from the audience who has something to say. From everything that has been discussed so far, it seems like everything can boil down to the system, the way the system is set up, the way the system is run. Here, Michael is making the excuse that he has been a victim, okay, but excuse you, don't you understand that the children that you are now molesting or have molested are going to be victims just as much as you are? And right. then when it comes to just the rape, you know, violently, okay, how can you distinguish from a non-violent non rape to a violent rape? Okay. Where, the, where in your case, you were saying that the violent rape, the guy was punished with three to five years? I, no, no. I didn't say that. No, no. Compared to Mike Tyson, okay, which was a date rape, where he got six years. I just have a question where the, the attorneys well, can answer that. She says there seems all, to be a discrimination. Just, just because something's a date rape, it's still violent. <laughs> rape is rape yeah. as far as I'm concerned, it, it, folks. It, it, right. Right. Rape, 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 rape is, is rape is rape. Rape is forced sexual intercourse, regardless of whether or not you know the person. Right. And just you because really you, you may know that, just because you may know them, does it make it less traumatic? You think the Mike Tyson situation is identical to having a gun held to her head while he rapes her? You think that's the same thing? I don't think you can compare one rape victim's experience to another. A person agree, may have yeah. a very resilient personality, go through a very violent rape, and survive it just fine. Another person may go through a very far less traumatic date rape, and their lives could be devastated for the rest of their life. Well, and we'll be the back with more of this conversation have. and more from the audience in just a minute.